so good. Morning guys, it's been a while since you guys have seen me get on an airplane. It's been a while, it's been like three weeks or so. <laughs> no, yes, yes, since London. And this is also the first time Brian and I are going on an airplane at the same time. We're not flying to go see each other. That's exciting, that's a win. And you guys are gonna come along with us this weekend. I'm very excited to go, let's move. Brian and I officially have the same camera setup. So you guys can see, if you guys hear like annoying jingle, that's what it is. It's so annoying. We need wire cutters. Get some cut off. You've ever been to Canada? No, it's my first time. Canadians are awesome. Jeff Nippert's awesome, so I'm sure the rest of Canada's awesome. I love every Canadian I've ever met. It's the kind of people. Can't wait to see you guys. Yes, we are good. Thank you. <laughs> we made it! Getting tickets on the train. Made it to Toronto, finally. It was not long of a flight at all. It was really easy. I ate a chicken sandwich and some cashews and some Coke Zero. That's a ritual. Now we're getting sweaty because it's hot in the sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to start the play. I don't know why. Woo! Woo! It's like we're on a roller coaster almost. On a train. Brian's been trying to upload his YouTube video all day. He had 15 minutes. And then we had to get on the plane and take off. And then the video was like 15 minutes away from being uploaded. It's been and now it's And now it's 3 p.m. West Coast time. 6 p.m. East Coast time. So that's where we are. We're almost at the hotel. I'm hungry though. Alright guys, it is 3 o'clock. It's like 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's 959. Like my phone background, by the way. It's Gary Vee. Love it. <laughs> and I am podcasting with an awesome person today. So this is my podcast guest, Danny. What's up, guys? Danny gets fit. I'll put his YouTube All the way from Canada. on the screen. We're in Canada. Yeah. All the way from the other side of Canada. Yeah, the other side of Canada. Well, more more we're north in... of where you live. Vancouver. Kelowna. Five it's... hours from Vancouver. Oh. Its nickname is Kelowna Fornia, so you probably like it. <laughs> Kelowna Fornia. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, it, basically Danny came from the other side of Canada. Yeah. And Danny has a really great YouTube channel. Not only is he cool and funny, but <laughs> <laughs> but he has a really awesome weight loss YouTube channel. So mm -hmm. go check him out. A ton of really cool videos and he's a really good guy. And he's going through his first competition. Yeah. This podcast won't be posted until probably like a month before your competition. So that'll, be, you, 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 that'll be good timing. That'll be good timing. We're going to podcast and then the weekend starts. This is the start of the weekend, technically. Cool. What do you want to talk about? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, uh... I guess you probably have the questions. Is there anything you don't want to talk about? No, I'm open. Cool. I'm open book. I like yeah. that. I had, I had like a few lines going through my head. I'm like, this is how I'm going to say it. I know when I want to like spew it out, it's just going to be like, blah, blah, blah. But... Exactly like that. <laughs> I'm confident <laughs> that. That'll be, that'll be good. Cool. It is 7.41 in the morning and I'm just eating some breakfast. There are no microwaves in the hotel room so I have to go down to the lobby to heat this up because I'm hungry. It's just the bite meals, pancake, egg white, and turkey bacon, chicken bacon. And then I'm gonna get the day started. Going down. Expo attire, black on black. I guess that's it. And then I have a movement watch on. This is a new bodybuilding.com like cutoff hoodie that I tied up. And then they have new bras that I like too. And that's about it. I usually get really cold, so I also brought a jacket. Currently waiting for the expo to start, but before it starts, I'm going to see Emily Hayden compete for the first time as a pro today. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we are going to find Emily. 
Emily. She's competing on stage as a pro. My eye will not stop watering. <laughs> it won't. I'm like taking. Just driving, just driving her crazy. <laughs> taking a million pictures, and my eye is just like I'm just crying. It's fine. All right, guys. Just a heads up. This camera lens. It's not zoomable. So this is gonna be the worst footage ever. But that will make you go to Emily's video to watch her stage footage. <laughs> one of the expo and I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm actually already taking one nap today on my break. I came here and passed out for like 45 minutes. That's why I'm wearing a different outfit. But my favorite thing about expos is getting feedback from you guys about why you enjoy watching my videos, listening to my podcast, following me on Instagram, all that stuff. And sometimes I like forget why because I'm just here making the videos and I'm like getting some comments and stuff like that. But like I don't really get like people's stories. Like comments are like for people to comment on like what I'm doing as opposed to like here's someone's like opportunity to tell their story and like in person that's what happens and I wanted to tell you guys a story about a girl that I talked to it was like probably like the second to last person I talked to the whole night and she made me cry and her name is Caitlin and she was telling me originally how she likes watching my videos because I show over like the last year like me competing and then gaining weight and then like feeling upset about it and then transforming into like loving myself because of it and like enjoying it a lot. And like, I forget how like transformative that mindset is for so many people and it, and it was for me as well. And she was talking to me about her bikini competition that she did last year and she had a coach and this coach had her on 900 calories, an hour and a half of cardio a day. And he told her to take a natural supplement, which is actually, as she, she told me it was Clen Buterol, which is a uh, steroid. So her coach just, told her to take it as if it was normal for every single bikini competitor and it's fucking not and that made me really angry that she told me that and that was just like normal and then after she finished the show she couldn't stop eating and then she gained a bunch of weight and then her coach was like let's just start another prep and <laughs> that the whole conversation about that story made me so upset but what made me really happy was that she watched my videos and listened to my podcasts and from that she was able to like see that she could love herself for more than just what she looked like on stage and like it's really cool to like see that that I'm like making that big of an impact and like explaining the things that I feel about myself and how it connects to like to you guys and like how it truly really like emotionally just like makes a switch like huh maybe I don't need to like think about what I look like every second of the day and maybe I don't need to do a cut just for a competition and maybe I don't need to do this for the approval and like and like validation from somebody else maybe I just need to do something something for myself regardless of what it is maybe I don't need to like do something that some youtuber is doing it's just do doing things for you for you and then another one of my or like the things that I got today that it just made me like warm my heart was that someone said that I made them feel they could just be the best version of themselves not like try to be somebody else like she said that I made her feel like she could just be her and be happy with it as opposed to like making other people not that I don't know what she, who she was talking about but it was just really nice to hear that like she just felt like 
since watching my videos happy and comfortable with herself and that that was okay so i just wanted to like remind you guys and myself too like this was a good reminder for me about like what project me is all about i haven't really talked about that since i started the series since the first video explaining like why i went on this journey but i think it's really good since i'm about halfway through now to talk about it because i just wanted to like remind myself like i did this because number one i want to do something for myself for nobody else i can do it on my own time on my own terms like it doesn't matter if i like go all like it does matter to me because i want to actually complete it and like do it to the best of my ability but what that looks like for everybody it's different and for me it looks like sticking to it most of the time but like not all the time like there's some days that i'm like not 100 percent on point which is like fine along with that there's plenty of days that i like don't feel like going to the gym and like maybe i'll skip a gym session once every few weeks because i'm like oh i'm really tired that's normal and it's okay to do stuff like that and i just wanted to like remind you guys that whatever you're doing make sure that like your process makes sense for you and your mindset and like where your life is right now and like what your priorities are and like maybe fitness isn't like your number one priority maybe it's not even your number five priority but you still just want to make it part of your life however it makes the most sense for you so i'm gonna end the talking part of the video here what we're gonna do for the rest of the video is go to the gym hopefully get some footage in i don't know where we're going if they allow filming but we're gonna try anyway and then we're gonna go have my free meal which is so exciting i've already had like protein bars and stuff today that like i haven't tracked most of the day but we're just gonna get a yummy meal i don't know what it's gonna be but we're gonna take you guys along with me for the rest of the video thank you guys for listening but let's go on with the rest of the video <laughs> Hey guys, good to talk to you again. I have not done a voiceover in quite some time and I really wanted to do a voiceover for this workout because number one, like I said, I haven't done one in a while and number two, I felt like this video was slightly less informative than normal so we're going to go ahead and do an informative voiceover. So I'll just walk you guys through my workout. This was a basically like a pull down with cable connect. So this was basically a pull down with cable connectors and I really like this because I can really get a good squeeze in my lats. I just really like to focus on retracting my scapula um, first and then pulling as opposed to just pulling and like doing the movement. Um, I really like to focus on muscle mind connection with my back exercises. And the next thing that I went into was doing um, this T-bar row. So if you guys have a T-bar machine at your gym or you just have a barbell, you can just put a plate on one side of it and you can use um, a close grip, neutral grip, uh, connecting thing that you would normally do on a cable, but you can just put it right under the T-bar or right under the barbell. And I um, hinge at the hips at this one. The first movement is hinging at the hips, so pushing your hips back and then getting the barbell right in a like, really good position, tightening your core, make sure you're not just like flopping directly over, make sure everything is staying tight, your back is flat, your head is neutral, your spine is neutral, and you have a lot of um, good weight sitting back into your hips, and then you do, essentially just do a row like you would if you were seated, but this has a lot of core stabilization and I really like this exercise. I did a four sets of 10, I believe, and I just kept the the weight a little bit lighter, but I just contracted a lot. And the next exercise that I did was I just went into the cables and I did some rope pull downs and I really like those. Um, and then with that, I did a super set. So I, I stayed at the cable machine because it's really easy to just like stay in one spot as opposed to going to do super sets in a bunch of different places. Stayed there and I did a seated rope pull. So this is very similar as if you were doing it in a seated position on the cable machine. But again, I just wanted to stay there and do my rowing there. So I just did the ropes and then again, four sets of 10 to 12 to 15, however you feel like doing. I stayed in like a higher rep range for this workout because I just wanted to get a good pump. Um, so I supersetted those two and then I moved on. And I, when I say moved on, I just did another exercise at the cable machine because again, I did not really feel like moving and running all around the gym. I just stayed there and I did some lat pull ins. So I used both cables on both sides. And I really love this again. It's similar to the first exercise that I did, but it just gets a really good squeeze in my lats. And I loved it. And the last exercise that you guys see here, I'm on the glute ham raise machine, but I am not focusing on my glutes and hams at all. So I'm not using them to pull me up. I'm just focusing on a, um, a spine flexion and extension. So this is essentially just a lower back strengthening exercise. And my lower back is, is pretty strong from deadlifts, but since I I've been doing conventional I just want to make sure that it's much stronger because I usually have a little bit of trouble um, tightening up my upper body when I'm deadlifting my lower body's great but my upper body needs a little bit more strengthening so I did that um, and I also did some bicep exercises but I ended up having the my camera on the, <laughs> the wrong setting for the bicep exercises so you're not gonna get you guys so you guys aren't gonna be seeing those in this video footage but I hope you guys enjoyed the workout in the 
Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys stay to watch till the end, give the video a thumbs up because I like you people. <laughs> Catch you guys in the rest of the video. That's where we're going, up there in the sunset. Can't wait to show you guys. We are headed up to the CN Tower and I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. Don't like heights usually, slightly terrifying. But I like sightseeing and this is a sight to see. What is this? It's just some massive bird art. Yep, that's that. This is the tower. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Thank you to whoever got us tickets. Appreciate you. Yes, thank you so much. She works here, so. Oh, awesome. The sunset, though. Drake, can you come out? Drake, are you up there? There's plexiglass, holy shit, that's so scary. You can like stand on the glass and like look down. It's terrifying, but so cool, so cool. As we were starving, and the estimated wait time is 90 minutes. We're both like, nah. Got free tickets. We will go tomorrow. Not fucking happening, but food is. Just because we weren't able to go up to the CN Tower tonight doesn't mean we're not going to. But I just wanted to mention the fact that I love this city already. Like, I haven't really seen too much of it. But it reminds me of Chicago. And I love Chicago. And it's like such a gorgeous city and it's like clean and the people are really nice. You agree? What's that? You agree? About Chicago? About Toronto, Chicago. Yes. You like it? I love it. Yeah. I love Toronto. Yeah. I want to come back when we have more time. I agree. Sweet potato fries and a lettuce wrapped cheese burger. It's somewhere under there. We had a friend join us. This is George. No, you're good. What is it called? After ice cream or something like that? After ice cream? All right guys, we finished dinner. Burgers and fries were freaking delicious. So needed, I feel amazing. Like, I feel so rejuvenated. You had a burger and fries. I ate more of it than you did. Yeah. You yeah. finish your shit, you always you, do. Dude, you inhaled that. I did. It was like, <laughs> Brian I, and I, both I was like, like on my second bite and your brew was gone. Anyways, we are at a place called Sweet Jesus. Can't we are recommended it. to go to this place like by everybody. So the line is amazingly long. It's quite long. It's that long. I'm and it mix. better be good. I would have better be good. Twice today. Bless your mouth. I think I'm gonna get the birthday cake. It's got birthday cake bits on it. Yep. That's what I'm gonna get. What are you gonna get? The menu. A whole lot of something. Birthday cake, damn. That's what I just said. I was like, damn, that looks good. I like their um. Oh, Nutella, though. Damn. Damn. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, I got a birthday candle. What? Thank you. Birthday cake. I had a candle. It was it was lit, but the <laughs> test. So excited. All right, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I'll do a little taste test for you guys before the video ends. I'll do this. Mm. Verdict. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We're gonna be talking about cheat meals. Next video. Catch you guys there.